Hello, welcome to Current News. I'm your host, Chris Davis. Okay, so I'm a little late to this, but this is the only opportunity like I had to talk about this. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the new Pokemon trailer that was released this past week. And for the most part, it was good. I do have some problems with it, but for the most part, I liked it. So um, with the new Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer, what it revealed was new regional variants. So just like Alola region, they had their regional variants. Variants, the Galar region is going to have their very own regional variants as well. So first up is Weezing, Galarian Weezing. So um, a reimagining of the original Weezing in Generation One. Um, Galarian Weezing um, looks pretty cool. He has a top hat um, like a British gentleman and he has a mustache. So he looks pretty cool. And his typing's pretty interesting too. Poison Fairy. So that's a Pokemon that you'd have to look into. Uh, but the most popular one they revealed was Galarian Zigzagoon. And check this. This Zigzagoon doesn't just have one evolution, it has two. It evolves to Galarian Linoon and then to Obstagoon. So in the Galar region, um, their regional variants um, can, ha can evolve even further, not to just one stage um, evolution, but um, get a brand new evolution as well. And that's pretty amazing. Uh, so Obstagoon looks really popular. He looks, he's really popular. He's really cool. Um, he looks really cool. Even um, he's people have figured out that he's inspired by the band um, Kiss and um, the one of the members of the band, Gene Simmons. Um, he says he's flattered by Obstagoon. Obstagoon's design and he thinks it looks really amazing. So that's good. Um, they're not suing Game Freak. Um, they think their um, Pokemon design is very flattering. Uh, another thing we got um, from this trailer um, was new rivals. So if you were upset that Hop was going to be another friendly rival and you weren't going to have anyone that was going to push you, well, you have Bead and Marina. So they're going to be more competitive. They're going to be more of those interesting rivals that are going to be challenging to beat. Now with the disappointing news. Really disappointing news. Um, they revealed the um, evil region team. And they're called Team Yell. Um, one, I think the name is really stupid. Um, team Yell. Tells me they're running out of ideas for evil teams. And two, I was hoping that with an evil team, we would have something like Team Rocket, Team Magma, Team Aqua, Team Galactic, or Team Plasma. Team Plasma was the last good evil team. Um, team Flare, uh, over the top, we, Team Skull. Team Skull wasn't even organized. They were just a bunch of thugs, just vandalizing property. And that's what Team Yell looks like. They just look like thugs. Um, no organized goal. Um, they just go around um, harassing people, um, vandalizing property, put it, spraying graffiti. Um, the game says that they're only cheering for your rival, um, Marini, or not Marini, Marina your rival Marina and they want her to win and they don't want anyone else to win. They just want her. And <clears throat> looks like what people have been saying is that she's really popular. So <clears throat> that's why team yell wants her to win. Um, but <sighs> this makes me like question, I don't know, something with the story within the game. We don't know a lot about Pokemon Sword and Shield yet, but I find it suspicious that Team Yell wants Marina to win and no one else. They're only rooting for her. They're trying to obstruct other people from uh, going through gym challenges um, because they just want um, this one person to win. And 
And I have to question, is she that popular enough that they're, that Team Yale is going to stop other trainers um, from competing in the gym challenge? Uh, <clears throat> I'm not so sure about that. So I'm automatically suspicious of her. So you you have to watch out for her when the game starts coming out. Now, uh, Poke Game Freak released a Japanese trailer which revealed a little more um, Poke Job. So at your PC in the Pokemon Center, instead of your Pokemon just sitting there and not gaining experience, what you can do is send them out on Poke Jobs. So while you're training other Pokemon, those Pokemon that are in the PC, um, they can get experience as well. And I think that's a really cool feature because you know in previous games, you leave some Pokemon in the box. Uh, you uh, The ones that you want, you carry them with you and they gain experience. Um, but if you want those Pokemon that have been in the PC to gain experience, you have to take them out and you have to train them. Now they can just gain experience doing um, Poke jobs, which is a little, which is like Poke Pelego, but I really think Poke Pelego was more of helping on the competitive side, not necessarily leveling up your Pokemon, really getting the effort values out of them. So um, this new Poke Jobs thing is a really nice fee feature. It's really convenient. Now um, for the starters, I'm hoping that in the next um, trailer they release, they give us some starter evolutions. Now, with the leaks that came out, they're pretty dead on. This is whoever leaked this. This is somebody who knows stuff. He has to be on the inside because he's been getting things exactly correct. Team Yell, I thought, oh, that's fake. That's too silly of a name. That's not true, but it is. Um, I just hope they reveal starter evolutions because I know in my past videos I said that I was leaning towards Grokey. But with these um, leaks being dead accurate, they're saying that Grokey will evolve into like a gorilla kind of Pokemon. And he's going to do the bongos and drums like Donkey Kong. And I'm thinking in my mind that <clears throat> this is kind of like Generation 6 where Chespin was kind of the favorite. But he evolved, his final evolution was lame, and then people didn't want him. So that's why I'm thinking where Grookey's going. And, you know, I, I'm a little disappointed because I wanted his final evolution to be good because Grookey, as a first-stage Pokemon, looks really amazing. Uh, but if he's going to be beating the drums and stuff... Uh, I'm not interested. Of course, when we see the final evolution designs and stuff, um, we can make up our mind then. But right now, I'm I'm kind of now leaning towards Score Bunny, Score Bunny or Sobble. Um, but before I make my definitive um, decision on final evolution on Pokemon starters, I have to see those final evolutions. I was on Team Grokey, but with these leaks being accurate, it looks like his final stage is gonna be isn't gonna be that good, and I'm not gonna like it. So I'm really leaning towards Score Bunny now, but nothing's set in stone. I really have to see those final evolution um, stages in order for me to make up my mind completely. Uh, so that's all we have for today. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you like about the trailer that was released this past week? What did you not like about it? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, um, you can follow me on social media. I have the links in the description box below. And uh, if you really want to help this channel, hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends. And all of you, have a great day.